Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with some more Pittsburgh Steelers recap and analysis of their 24-10 loss to the Arizona Cardinals on Sunday. Pittsburgh now 7-5 on the season. Let's talk about it. And before we start the video, if you guys could like this video, also subscribe to the channel. I would really appreciate that. Quick note as well. Uh, Dave and I will not do our live stream on Monday, as in tomorrow, December 4th. That's not because of the game. I don't care that it's going to be a mess and, and anger. That That's fine. Um, just because of the short week, the Thursday game upcoming, there's just too much going on from the site perspective that I wouldn't be able to fit the time to do the live stream tomorrow. So we'll do the live stream the following Monday. That's going to be, what, the 11th, I believe. So just a, a quick programming note on that. But... To the game, what a mess, what a disaster, 24-10, to 10, frankly one of the worst losses of the Mike Tomlin era, and you could argue one of the worst losses in franchise history, I know that's a little prisoner of the moment and recency bias, but there's some stats to, to back that up, but however you want to slice it, however you want to frame it in terms of the where the loss ranks, it's a, it's a terrible loss, and credit to Arizona, but Pittsburgh just beating themselves, that happened against the Bengals in the first half. They cleaned it up enough in that one to find a way to beat the Bengals, and they did not do the same against Arizona on uh, Sunday. So, I mean, just so sloppy, nine penalties. I mean, just stuff we were getting, you know, too many men on the field defensively, not enough men on the field offensively, two illegal formations of the same variety where the tackle's not covered up, um, you know, can't snap the football. I mean, you just can't do the the basic things that an offense should be able to do and you don't deserve to win the game because of that. So, um, yeah, I, I thought Pittsburgh came out running the ball well, expected them to run the ball well, felt like they kind of got away from that more than they should have, and they just could not finish drive. So whenever you're, you know, 0-2 on your first two red zone trips, you have nine penalties, you just have the general sloppiness that you had, you're going to lose these games. In the NFL, it's a raise within margin between winners and losers, losers, even the good teams and the bad teams, and that was on display Sunday night. So for the offense, they just could not get out of their own way. Then Kenny Pickett gets hurt, and he wasn't playing particularly well prior to the ankle injury. His status now very much up in the air for Thursday. A short week, so many injuries here for this team to deal with. Trubisky, you know, was typical. Trubisky took a couple of aggressive shots downfield, but um, by that that point, I mean the Cardinals were really in control of that game. Uh, I, I don't mind the fourth and one or the fourth and goal call by Tomlin have to execute there. So again, just not doing things that winning teams do. And that that's pretty obvious to, to see and to say, um, you know, defensively good early and then just could not get third down stop. I think the Cardinals were like, Oh, a four Oh, for five on third down to start. And then that 99 yard touchdown drive where I think they converted four third downs. They had a third and six run. Michael Walker just really struggling but I thought Pittsburgh really had a poor matchup where they would not adjust, and you knew the Cardinals' top target was going to be Trey McBride, their tight end, one of their leading receivers, Hollywood Brown, technically their leading receiver. He's been dogged by a heel injury. He's not had great chemistry with Kyler Murray. Uh, McBride has, and Pittsburgh did not switch up that matchup. They kept putting Walker on him on, on the touchdown. They put Casey on him. I think Minka should have been on him. Now, Minka hurt his hand, broke his hand. Did, did that have an influence? I don't know, but there had to be some sort of shift in strategy to not let McBride win so routinely on that drive. That was incredibly frustrating, and that's on the coaching staff, if you ask me. Um, but from there, they got the run game going in the second half, and James Conner was able to grind out clock to to win the game. But situational football, the, the sloppiness of play, um, Pittsburgh just fell flat on their face and you got Boswell missing field goals. It kind of sums up the day that it was. Of course, the weather delays, which were prolonged and just kind of really, again, prolonged, I guess I should say, the uh, the misery of this game. Field position, an issue again, like the Bengals game. Really, it was we had a lot of the same kind of root issues in the Bengals game. Pittsburgh was able to overcome that with some more splash plays. Against Cincinnati, that did not really happen against Arizona, and the run defense not as strong, not as consistent throughout the situation of football um, on third down in particular is the reason why Arizona won this game and won it pretty handily. So disappointing loss. Obviously, Pittsburgh, not much time to dwell on it. Got a Thursday game against another 2-10 and team in the Patriots. You would think Pittsburgh will win, but of course with a game like this, you really can't think anything. So that's a, 
a must win for the Steelers, obviously. They lose that one. They're seven and six. They lose to the Cardinals and Patriots in back to back weeks. You can kind of kiss this thing goodbye. So got to get back up for that one. They could. I mean, who knows? It's it's a frenetic team that's, you know, sometimes they're putting it together, sometimes they're not. So you never really know what you're going to get from this unit overall, but you can't get what you had on Sunday at Acrisure. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like, please subscribe. We'll have some film rooms and some other stuff on the channel. But again, quick turnaround for the Thursday game against New England. Reminder, no live stream tomorrow. We'll do that next Monday and take it from there. So thank you guys for listening and we'll talk to you soon.